just got out of bed. Question on, of the day, first one up is, what's better, to starve yourself lean or to exercise lean? So what should you do? Starve yourself or train? Or try and do both. Starve yourself and train and go crazy and just drink coffee, Red Bull stimulants, you know, take Prozac when you get depressed, use Ventolin puffers to keep going and going and going. What should you do? What should you do? Starve and train or just starve or train? I don't know. What's the best? How about just eat more to live more? How about that's the concept? Because people go, Harley, you eat so much, but you're, you're too thin. You're too skinny. You've got too little body fat, but you eat so much carbohydrates that are meant to make you fat. What's going on here? I don't know. You know, people like Mark Sisson or whoever say, if, we, if you eat more than 150 grams of carbohydrates in a day, you're going to become insidiously obese. 150 grams of carbs, that's 400 calories a day. I've mentioned that before in other videos. I think that's outrageous claim. All that's going to do is set people up for massive binges on really fatty crap. They're going to go off the wagon. They're going to buy all those protein powders and supplements and all these things that these guys say. Like Mark Sisson and all those crews say, you can't be vegan because you won't get enough B12. You won't get enough protein. You won't get enough DHA. You won't get enough EPA. So never eat a vegan diet. Eat this meat-based diet and buy my B12 supplement, buy my protein powder, buy my DHA supplement, buy my EPA, buy my antioxidants, buy this, buy that, buy this. Believe the lies I tell you and buy the products I sell you. You can't be a vegan because we, we, we didn't eat vegan back in the day. In paleo days or primal days or primal blueprint days we, or primal shoe print days, we didn't eat a vegan diet then. And it's like, hey, we didn't take all these protein powders and DHA supplements either. So what do you do? How, how do we end the confusion? Train hard, starve yourself, go on these low-carb, low-calorie fad diets and just starve yourself thin. What's the deal? I like to eat. I don't know about you, but me, I love to eat. I love to eat big amounts of food. I was never the person that could starve themselves. You know what I mean? I, I can't under-eat. Some people can, but not me. I like to overeat. I like to eat massive, abundant, sweet, juicy, sweet things. I've got a strong sweet tooth. Why? Because every cell in my body runs on glucose. I'm not sure about you. <laughs> you might have a different metabolic type. Again, that's all another topic for another video. Metabolic type, absolute bullshit, spiritual woo-woo, wishy-washy crap that just tells people good things about their bad habits. Your dosha type is this, so you should smoke dope and you should eat you know, bar barbecued cats, dogs, rats, and sheep, and all this absolute rubbish based on Western consumer mindsets. That... Another topic for another video. So what should you do then? Starve yourself or train? Like I said before, eat more to live more. 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day. So if you weigh 60 kilos, that's 600 grams of carbs. That's about 30 bananas a day. If you weigh 100 kilos, that's about 1,000 grams of carbs a day. That's about 100 bananas a day. Or dates. Or even if you're into rice and carbs. Carbs don't make you fat. People go, well, Harley, how come you don't promote rice and eat rice? And it's like, well, I do better on fruit. My digestive system works better on fruit. In a world of good, great, better, and best, why not go best? Does that make sense? So people say, Harley, that's a lot of carbohydrates. That'll make you fat. I still get this from raw food experts, from health experts who should know better. They still think you can get fat on fruit. Fat. Look at me, man. Look how fat I am. I'm in shape, though. How about we just get in shape? How about we eat enough calories from carbohydrates, from our favorite carbohydrates, our favorite fruits? How about we just eat enough of them and live that passionate lifestyle? It burns the body blubber. It burns the fat. It takes care of all that. How about we just do that? <laughs> An interesting concept. I can almost literally go crazy <laughs> telling people. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that simple. The solution is so simple, people are shocked at the answer. Eat more to live more. You want to be lean, fit, and strong off the drugs? Just have crazy energy like, like a freak show I am? Then eat more to live more. Get your sleep. Go to bed early. Go to bed so early that you wake up bouncing out of bed. Like someone's put a spring up your ass and you just boom, out of bed. Coffee. Who in the fuck needs coffee to get up? People are using coffee to drive their car to work and get on the computer and function. Coffee, man. I haven't had a cup of coffee since 1999. If I had coffee now, I'd probably have a heart attack. I don't know. You know what I mean? So how about we just eat more carbohydrates? Live more. If you're worried about body fat, 
do more, li live more, have more sex, play with your kids more, ride your bike to work, pick up the shopping, take the stairs instead of the elevator, run your workmates up the stairs, have a competition, 20 bucks, who's going to win? Whatever, have fun. When you, when you make things fun, you take care of motivation. When you make things fun, you take care of motivation. Remember that. So make it fun above all and have a reason why you're doing more activity, why you're living with more passion. What's your reason? Getting lean, fit and strong, that's great. That's a, a side benefit. Well, what's the real reason for things? For me, it's to make a, the world a better place. It's to help people help themselves get fit and healthy. We save the animals, we save the planet. It all works all together. It's a win-win-win situation. Like Doug Graham says, winfinity. You win, I win, the animals win, the planet wins, everyone wins, this MacBook wins. It's just better for everyone. It's more fun. So eat more to live more. People on their forum, 30 Bananas, they say, oh, I'm a little bit fat, Harley. So we, they, we see a photo of them. They're still single-digit body fat. And I go, I'm, I'm a bit fat. And you're still single-digit body fat. If someone's single-digit body fat and they think they're fat, they need to get a life. Well, they need to understand human physiology better. Well, they need to just change their focus for a bit. <laughs> focus how they can make the world a better place instead of how they can drop one or two percent body fat. <laughs> some people. So, and then there's some people in the forum say, "Well, I'm I'm doing all these things, Harley, and I'm, I'm I want to lock I want to drop a few pounds, and you know I'm feeling a bit hefty." And I say, "Well, how, how, what's your what's your best 10k time?" And they're like, 10K, what does that mean? 10K, I don't, know what I don't know what 10K means. 10 kilometers. How fast can you run or walk or crawl? How fast can you even wheelchair 10 kilometers? And they're like, oh, I've never done that before. And I'm like, you've never done a 10K before? And you're say, asking me, you, try, you want to pay me thousands of dollars to tell you what you need to know when you already know it. If you haven't done a 10K before, it's high time you fucking did one. <laughs> so put on your running shoes and get out there, get in your wheelchair, and do it. Do a time trial, and see how long it takes you to get from A to B, and do a loop circuit, so you don't get the tailwind assistance or headwind resistance. Do a loop circuit, a loop circuit around your block, nice big square or whatever, and write down the time you got. Have your little stopwatch. You don't need a $600 Garmin. You can if you want. They're great, they're awesome, they're best. Just get a little $5 stopwatch in the thrift shop. Time yourself. And when you get down your time down to under 45 minutes, or under 50 minutes, or under 40 minutes, you don't have any weight issues, ever. <laughs> and if you still got weight issues then, you're probably like the person who wants to drop one or 2% body fat. And again, if you're like that, you want to drop one or 2% body fat, you need to check your priorities. <laughs> you need to like get back in balance and uh, put energy in things that matter versus things that are just totally arbitrary distraction from the real things. So to get fitter, should we starve or should we just live more? What sounds like more fun? Starving yourself Drinking coffee to smoke, smoking cigarettes or taking pills or eating lettuce leaves to try and fill you up and trick your body from hunger. Just go, I'm just, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't want to go near food. I can't go to social settings because I can't control myself because I'm so freaking hungry from starving myself to try and look good. I'm about to explode. Or eat as much carbohydrate foods as you desire, not your anorexic side desire or your warped delusional side desire, as you physiologically desire. Eat, eat, eat until you're just done, till it doesn't taste sweet anymore. That's when you know you've had enough fruit and it doesn't taste sweet anymore. And then you get on with other things. Get on with your life. And then when you come hungry again, do the same thing. Eat until it doesn't taste sweet anymore. Eat enough carbohydrates. You don't want the greasy shit. You don't want the dead animals. You don't want the junk. It's not about discipline. It's not about discipline. It's about calories, man. <laughs> it's like if you're starved for oxygen, if someone puts tape over your mouth and you can't breathe, then someone takes this, the tape off and gives you a cigarette just to breathe. You'll be... <coughs> <coughs> but you'll breathe the cigarette in just to get some oxygen. And you'll be going, what am I doing? I'm smoking. I don't smoke. I'm... Because <coughs> you're starved of oxygen. Does that make sense? Put the tape on. Take the tape off. Put a cigarette there. <coughs> you'll be sucking the cigarette in like no tomorrow. Starve yourself of carbohydrates. And you'll be eating the junk like no tomorrow. But what, and you'll be going, what am I doing? I don't normally do this. You're hungry. You're hungry. It's like if you're really tired, you'll sleep anywhere. You'll sleep in the gutter. You'll sleep amongst dogs and fleas and rats and whatever, which I do all the time anyway. But you'll sleep amongst, you'll sleep to a lower standard. <laughs> you'll sleep in places you would normally sleep. Does that make sense? When you're hungry, you eat things you wouldn't normally eat. 
when you're uh, oxygen starved, you'll breathe things you wouldn't normally breathe. You know what I mean? So, bottom line is get enough carbohydrates. When everyone, when anybody says you can eat too much fruit or you can eat too many carbohydrates and it's going to make you obese or overweight, they wouldn't have a fucking clue. I'm sorry, they don't. Some of them might be sincere. And they're just sincerely wrong. And the others are just hucksters. They want you to fail. So you buy their stevia flavored bullshit. They yeah, don't eat fruit, but eat chocolate bars. Fruit's bad for your health. Don't eat bananas, but smoke tobacco and eat chocolate for breakfast and have the best day ever. And when you get fat, pick up a poncho from the Machu Picchu tourist shop on your way back into LA for longevity conference. That's the sort of thing we're talking about in crazy things. Fat people giving fat people advice on how to get fit, lean, and strong. It should be fit, lean, strong, people, drug free, giving people who want that fit, lean, drug free, strength, passion, vibrancy without drugs, without coffee, without cacao, cracker, without all these things. Do you want it? Then do it. Follow the people getting the results you desire. I go on and on and on. I sound like a crazy man. I sound like I'm nuts, but I'm not nuts. I'm bananas. So eat more to live more. If you want to play with your kid, like I've got people go, Holy, well, I've got kids and I don't have time to train like you. And I'm like, well, I train about an hour a day, 80 minutes to an hour a day. You know what I mean? That's not a lot of time. Most people watch three to four hours of TV a day. I don't, I don't have a television. I'll spend my time. My entertainment is helping people help themselves get fit and healthy. That's my entertainment. Versus watching some lawyer in some city with a cocaine problem cheating on his wife or just some drama distraction bullshit rubbish so people have kids and say i don't have time to train play with your kids you don't need a personal trainer you don't need a gym set you just need to play with your kids man keep up with your kids for a day and you'll be fitter than me in a couple of years guaranteed you train with your children every day have fun have wrestling wwf wrestling with your kids play hide and seek chasey climbing things just tickling your kids they tickle you play with your kids picking them up doing bicep curls with each baby on each arm Take them in a baby jogger, go for a walk around or push them in your wheelchair or go for a jog or go for a run. Do a half marathon with the kids, do a marathon with the kids, do a 2K with the kids, do a 5K. Just get out there, get in there, get amongst it. No more excuses, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, you know, I'm living on food stamps so I can't afford bananas. It's like, man, bananas are like well, under a dollar a pound in the United States. In Australia, they're about literally $10 a pound. Organic bananas, $10 a pound in Australia. So, you know, like, it's, it's amazing. And then people say, oh, I, don't, I can't afford to eat healthy. Well, rice, you can buy rice for freaking 20 kilos for $20. That's literally three weeks worth of food at 3,500 calories a day for 20 bucks. Add in some veggies and some sauce and, you know, get some fruit from the bins or whatever. You know, when fruit's ripe, most people chuck it out. You can get it for free. So it's not about having more money. It's about a shift of priorities. We don't need more time. We need to shift the priorities of what we do with our time currently. Does that make sense? So should you starve or should you get fit? So what sounds like more fun? Starving yourself and just setting yourself up for binges or stimulant dependence or just eating so many carbohydrates that you're just driven to be creative and passionate and living your purpose and getting fitter and stronger naturally. That's what I'm about. Eat more to live more. If, in, if, you, if you think you're eating too many carbohydrates, eat more until that whole mindset just dissolves and crumbles into that, like, I'm a drain boy, I don't know what's going on. I'm the bored prince or princess. Please, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know. Get a fucking life. Eat more carbs. Get out there. Get amongst it. Follow your heart. Does that make sense? You don't have a weight problem. You don't, you don't have excess fat. You're just out of shape, man. And nobody got in shape by under eating carbohydrates. Because when you under eat carbs, it's like pulling the air out of your bicycle tire. It's like pulling the petrol out of your gas tank in your car. It's like pulling your spinal structure out of your body and wondering why you can't stand up straight. When you, people go, oh, I don't exercise, Harley. It's like, yeah, you don't fucking exercise because you're so undercarbed every day of the week. You're so dehydrated as a result and you're so underslept. You can't fucking exercise, man. <laughs> it's not like you don't have the discipline or whatever you physiologically can't you know it's like put you put a, a seed in a bit of concrete it's not going to grow man you need soil you know you, you can't put a seed on a, a flat piece of concrete and expect it to grow you gotta put that seed in the soil man you know what i mean you gotta have the water in there in the soil you gotta have the carbohydrates so then you can sleep better your body's producing enough serotonin for sleep you're more hydrated carbohydrate you know what i mean 
So understand these basic fundamentals. And I'm just going to go on and on and on about them. I can literally do talk about this for hours. So it's that simple. If in doubt, eat more and live more. You know what I mean? Just go and visit some old people and tell them stories. Use your brain. You do YouTube videos, man. You burn a lot of calories doing YouTube videos. Eat more to live more. Make this world a better place by eating more versus fucking starving yourself. I'm fucking, just fucking, I'm fucking up, man. I need some fucking cigarettes or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck. Eat more to live more. All these people who fucking say, oh, I'm not going to get fucking fat on free. I'm going to get fat on free. It's like, oh, man. Get a fucking life, man. Write down your goals and work towards them every fucking day, every minute of every day. Get more sleep so you can achieve your goals. Eat more carbohydrates so you can give more, do more, and be more, and feel more in your community, in yourself, with your partner, with your society, with your natural surroundings. Do that. Experience it without drugs, without all this spiritual woo-woo bullshit, up and down, emotional eating, fasting and purging and binging and anorexia and orthorexia and all this nonsense out there. People go, oh, I can't eat fruit because fruit's not healthy. I'm going to like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing because I'm so confused. I'm following the pl plastic Walmart shamans who wouldn't have a fucking clue themselves. Hucksters putting MDA in people's cacao drinks. People doing crazy stuff. So eat more to live more. If in doubt, eat more. If in doubt, do more. If in doubt, eat more. If in doubt, do more. Eat more to do more. If you're fat, it just means you're unfit. Get fit by eating more carbohydrates and moving that body. So carbohydrates and exercise, man. That's what you need. That's the magic too. Carbohydrates, exercise, and then sleep and water. Get it in you. Sleep, water, sugar. So get your sleep, water, sugar, so you can move that body, so you can live more. More carbs means more life. More glycogen is more life. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. The carbs becomes the glycogen you get to live with. Bottom line, eat more to live more. Carbs are your friends. Doesn't matter how much you weigh. It doesn't matter if you weigh 200 kilos. You need a shitload amount of carbohydrates. People say, Harley, but 10 grams of carbs per kilo, if you weigh 200 kilos, that's 2,000 grams of carbohydrates. That's two kilos of grams. That's two kilos of carbohydrates. Oh, that's a lot of food. I'm like, man, Put a fucking 140 kilogram backpack on me and, and then go, Harley, go and do your normal thing. Go and train with two, 140 kilos in your backpack and eat you know, your, for your body weight. And I'm like, fuck off. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to last 10 minutes and go, this is too hard. I'm already out of glycogen. I need to eat like a heavyweight if I want to become that lean, fit, strong person. You can't get a, if you're towing a caravan, and you put a normal amount of fuel in for your car to go that distance, it's not going to go the distance. Does that make sense? If you're 200 kilograms and you want to become fitter, leaner, stronger, then you've got to eat a massive, you've got to eat more than a, a 65 kilo person who's lean, fit, and strong. You've got to eat more than that person you want to be. You've got to eat more than them. Why? Because you're carrying more. Does that make sense? If, if me and a 200 kilo person go for a walk, a one kilometer walk, who's going to burn more calories, me or them? They're going to eat more, burn more glycogen. Why? Because they're carrying more. So they need more food to keep getting fit. So does that answer your question? It doesn't matter what you weigh. 10 grams of carbs per kilo should be your minimum. And if you can't eat that much because you're 200 kilos and you can't get the two kilos of carbs in, do your best. Do your best, just try and get it in and keep moving, keep being active and slowly work your way up. Who gets fat from eating rice? Who gets fat from eating bananas? Never. Go into a food court and see people eating food. See what they're eating. It's, have you ever seen anyone eating 20 bananas for lunch? Have you ever seen anyone eating like a massive bowl of rice for lunch? And if you do, are they really obese? Are they fat? Ask them. And <laughs> what do fat people eat? Meat, fat, fat people eat fat, lots of fat, and they have Diet Cokes with their cheeseburgers, and they think, oh, I'm having Diet Coke. They're still fat, but they're having Diet Coke. What's up with that? How many fat people do you know who are just like crazy fruit nuts like me? How, none, because you can't physiologically be that. It's like being a marathon runner who's running 245s and looking like a bodybuilder. It doesn't happen. It's physiologically impossible. It's not, it never doesn't matter if you're metabolic type or your dosha bullshit or all this wishy-washy spiritual woo-woo crap. doesn't matter. What matters is basic human physiology. 
You can't be fat on fruit or rice. You can't get fat on carbohydrates. Anyone who says you can eat overeat carbohydrates, you know, it's, it's, it's absolute nonsense. And the people go, oh, I went from a 10 pack to an eight pack. Oh, I went from like 4% body fat to 6% body fat. I want a refund. <laughs> it's like, get a fucking refund on your life, man. You know what I mean? So, but fat, fat, I'm talking fat, fat. You know, I'm not talking like super ripped lean to like super lean. I'm talking from, I'm talking fat people. Do you know what I mean? Where are these fat people on rice or fruits or, you know, carbohydrate foods? It doesn't happen. Look at Dr. McDougall's program. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's sort of like, it's an all-you-can-eat carbohydrate thing. And everyone says, oh, you'll get fat on that. But Dr. McDougall's too thin. You know, Colin Campbell's too thin. Yeah, Jeff Novick's too thin. Uh, Dean Ornish is too thin. All these high-carb, low-fat, plant-based promoters. Everyone says you'll get fat on that program. Yeah, all those guys are all lean. Skinny bitch, Rory Friedman. Is she fat from those carbs? No, she's a skinny bitch. And then you look at the raw food world. You got Roger Hesker. You know, people say, hey, Roger Hesky, he's scrawny, but for all that fruit should make you fat. You got Doug Graham, people go, Doug Graham's too skinny, man, but all those bananas are going to make you fat. And then you got me, oh, but you're too thin to do it, but all those mangoes and bananas and dates are going to make you fat. You know, and then they got people like Mark, Mike Arnes said, oh, but hey, yeah, he's too many fucking sweet fruits and he's, he's too thin as well. And you all these people <laughs> saying that we're all too thin, <laughs> but cars make you fat. And I'm just like, fuck, I don't understand. I don't understand, but you guys exercise, like you guys like have sex and dance and have fun and I don't want to do that, I don't want to play with my kids and I don't want to have sex and I don't want to dance and I don't want to be fit. It's like what the fuck do you want to do? You want to sit on the couch and complain yourself and justify your complacency to us? Whatever. I don't know, you know what I mean? Stop wasting your time, stop wasting our time. Eat more to live more. Thanks for watching. So there you go. This fruit makes you fat. I don't know. You make the decision.